What the fuck? <laughs> Get on Beybladers, Blade Bay X here. I'm here with my friend MJ, better known as Nanashi. His experience with Beyblade X is a bit spotty so far. One battle a few months ago, unfortunately losing that match. We went to a tournament last weekend, your first tournament. You took the loss, you got a buy through the next one, and then your second match today unfortunately lost as well. So right now we're kind of in a bit of a Bud Kazami situation with MJ here. To remedy this, I've built a four week program for MJ, which consists of workouts, recovery, and competitions to hopefully complete his Beyblade X training arc. So first of all, we need to get MJ's base readings. For our base test launching, I've got MJ rigged up with a string launcher handle and the battle pass. We're gonna get about 10 launches done, and we're gonna take the strongest launch out of those, and that will be our base power for our testing. Okay, so we've just uh, done Nanashi's first 10 uh, base launches. So we're gonna see how much power, do you mind if I pinch that one, my dude? We were able to generate. Let's go through the checks. Make sure that's shining brown. Okay, let's see what it says. It is roasting hot out here, by the way. <laughs> okay, so our highest reading from those 10 launches is 6,811. So lots of room to build up some power. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna spend just a few minutes working on launch technique only to build power. And then after that, we'll take another reading and that's where we're gonna work from for our training arc. Let's go. Launch we're doing, mind if I borrow that one, is only about generating as much power as possible. So when it comes to aiming it and stuff like that, we'll talk about that another time. But purely for the technique of launching with power, first of all, your grip and you're causing more of a lean away, okay? We want, yes, so your hips are gonna really throw, yeah. Closer, much closer. Okay, so we've just taken Nanashi's 10 readings um, after working on his power stance launch, okay? So this is purely technique and it's been maybe five minutes of practice and then just straight into the launches. So still room for improvement, but let's see if it's done anything. All right, let's get this connected. All right, so it was 6,800, I think. Something around there. Let's see what we got out of these ones. It's taking its time. Okay, so a pretty significant improvement. We've gone up to 10,714. So just technique alone, using this power stance will improve your launch power. But now we got four weeks of intensive training and competing to improve that even further. So before we started pumping iron, there was a team tournament at TCG Ignition where Nanashi had his first tournament experience the previous weekend. We teamed up with my friend Goffy and were prepared with a single combo each. There had been no explanation of the team format they would run. So I had hoped it was a winner stays on until one team runs out of members kind of job and that each round would be first to four points. This way putting Nanashi first would mean he gets the highest chance of getting the most matches to gain the most experience, letting it rip. It didn't go this way though. To everyone's surprise, it was best of three rounds with each teammate rotating in order for each round. Points were invalid. It really felt like the anime, but in real time, so kinda quick. I think team format is super cool, but I think there might be ways to improve on this. Nanashi did manage to win his first round of the day with a very quick X finish, but unfortunately, that was his last win of the day.
finished. Yeah, post finished. All right, here we are. Workout day number one. The true arc begins now. Ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> Let's go. So as part of Nanashi's program, I have him doing three workouts with me a week and day one is strength capacity. That means pumping iron to increase our maximum launch capabilities. We did a calisthenics based warm up. I like to do variations of with my students who are newer to strength training and then it was on to the heavy stuff. For our lower body today, we did goblet squats to build our quads, which help us push into the floor when we launch and then glute bridges to strengthen our glutes and hamstrings, allowing them to pull our hips and allow them to rotate more power through our cores. For upper body, we did incline bench rows, making sure to rotate through a full range of motion and hit our back and core, as well as replicate the motion of a launch. We also did incline presses to bulletproof our shoulders for letting it rip all day. We finished off with a two minute plank. Kind of. <sighs> Stretched off and day one was done. First workout of the uh, four week program. How's that left you feeling? Exhausted for sure. <laughs> so tomorrow you've got some cardio and some stretching to do, nice and easy. And then Wednesday we are gonna hit it with the functional training. Yeah. Ready for that shit? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. First functional strength session ready? ready. <laughs> what do I mean by functional strength training? This is using resistance through a practical motion, typically by moving either yourself or an external weight from point A to B. We're going to really utilize these sessions to target the legs and build Nanashi's understanding of using these muscles to generate force. We use depth jumps into high jumps. Planted long jumps. As well as granny tosses to brutalize our legs. Afterwards, we worked on both core stability and rotation with med ball passes and then a full body finisher of throwing a sandbag over our shoulders for two minutes. Overall, a hard but fun day's training but then everything went wrong. Session of the week, we did explosive training. Explosive training absolutely sucks. It is the most tiring form of training I think I ever do. I always take my hat off to athletes like high level wrestlers who are able to just explode on takedowns over and over again. It is awesome, but it's just not what I'm built for. So I know I'm always going to have a hard time. So I start off with the hardest exercise, which is always sprints. You could feel super, super, super fit, but then you start doing a few sets of sprints and you very, very quickly realize you can get much, much fitter. So after six rounds of sprints for 200 meters, we moved on to some explosive training back in the garden. 
This mainly included banded work, so we were using the resistance bands for core rotations here, which will help um, our ripping strength. And then we moved on to band pulls, which really, really directly translate well to uh, motions we make in Beyblades, but this is hitting everything, core rotation, good mechanics, our back, shoulders. And then just like we did on strength day, bulletproof our shoulders by working the antagonist muscles to the ones we're targeting in the first place and still working on good core mechanics like rotating our hips and driving from the floor. To be honest, I didn't want to kill MJ, so after a short burst on the resistance bands, we just chilled out and played with some Beyblades. After all, this is only week one of training, so we need to progressively overload. We don't need to kill ourselves from the get-go. Plus, we still want to have fun because we're just playing Beyblades. So let's test Nanashi's launch power after a week of training. Now I was saying to him off camera, I would actually expect it to maybe be a little bit lower than the last base test we took because when we took the base test, he wasn't as fatigued as he's been throughout this week. <laughs> also, we just did like an hour and a half of letting it rip already. So might be a little bit tired. We'll see where it is. I think it was 10,714, yeah. I think, I think. So let's get connected. And before I do that, I'm going to remember to screen grab this time. I didn't do that last time. All right, screen grab, it's live now. And we're connecting. Let's see what we get. What the fuck? <laughs> that can't be right. That's insane. I mean, well done if you have. Like, I don't know how that's happened. 29,644. What the flip? What the flip? I think we might need to do 10 fresh launches and see, uh, <laughs> see if that's legit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Well, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> training complete. Just one week's training. That's all you need. That's amazing. That's hilarious. All right. We'll do a few more test launches yeah. and see what it says. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. So I'm not saying that I launched nearly 30,000 in power but I did not check if I'd cleared all the launches mm. from the um, battle pass before we did your 10 then, to be fair. So again, I am not saying that I'm launching at 30,000 RPM, but something's going on here. So let's see if uh, let's see if MJ can repeat. All right, let's get some launches from you, dude. All right, we gotta see if that was a legit 29K <laughs> from a... From MJ there. That's outrageous numbers, dude. I mean, one thing I did say though is during those launches, regardless of the power we reading we get, the actual launch technique was looking nice. I can probably hear my kids shouting in the background. Sorry. <laughs> what do we get? Okay, okay. That's <laughs> that's a significant drop. Okay, so now oh, I didn't I'll screen grab it oh. now. I forget to screen grab every single time, yeah. just so it's still on there. And I'll uh, show it on the camera as well. So we've dropped back down to the 10,000s. <laughs> so 10,359, so a little bit less than your um, high base reading from earlier. So it will be interesting, I think, to see where we are. We'll, we'll do a test at the end of each week. But what I'm going to do with you now is when we do the proper tests, yeah. we'll do it the morning of the first strength training session of the week. Okay. Um, so it'll be when you've had your longest period of rest between sessions uh, beforehand. I think that'll be the optimum time to test it, but still, we're staying above the 10,000s. Launch technique is definitely improved. That's yeah. pretty significant after this first week. So, yeah, it's only been a week you've changed your technique, so pretty decent, man, pretty decent. We'll see, uh, we'll see if we can up those numbers though. All right, catch you in the next one. Peace. Nice man. <laughs> might, might have been, yeah. <laughs> might have been. That's hilarious though. Thank you for sticking around to this point. If you enjoyed that video, please check out this one where I vlog me going to Bangkok to compete in my first ever Beyblade X tournament. 
Make sure you subscribe as well because we will be covering weekly tournaments as well as regional and national tournaments in the coming months. Catch you in the next one, Beybladers. Peace.